Hey, I'm Aileen. Welcome to my channel, a place to make art and feel empowered. Today, I just wanted to talk about should we be focusing on our productivity during this self-isolation whole quarantine part of the coronavirus situation? During this whole time, if anytime you go on social media, it's like people are being overly productive with their time. Should we be one of them? I feel like no. I want to talk to you today about why we should not be focusing on our productivity during self-isolation, but instead we should just sit still and grow. So yeah, I just want to make this quick video to let you know that you can feel free to slow down as much as you need, want, or can because this whole entire thing, this whole entire situation is so stressful alone as it is, like the whole pandemic, like virus side of thing, let alone how our governments are individually going about it successfully or not. It's the whole situation is so stressful. And then on top of that, some people are losing their jobs. Some of these people are dying. Some people are sick in the hospital. Everything is so stressful that your body will benefit from just slowing down. And this is a virus that takes advantage of people that have an immune system that is compromised. So you want to keep yourself as healthy as possible. Number one, I feel like nature is giving us a hint by forcing us all to slow down. And of course, this is difficult because we're social animals. We want to interact with other people. We want to go do all, all of our activities. And of course, like staying still and just doing nothing goes against every single social norm that we've been programmed to follow. But like, did you guys ever read that book, The Alchemist? I always loved how the main character, Santiago, he would always ask himself, what is the soul of the world telling me? And I've been asking myself that during this past month. And I feel like the soul of the world is just telling us all to stop and just stay home. I don't think it's a coincidence in that in the past two months where most of the world has started to like quarantine or isolate, nature has literally began to take over places where they stopped living before. And I don't just mean like streets, like there was this whole article about how dolphins went back to swimming around the canals in Italy. A 40% decrease of carbon dioxide just in the two months alone that we have slowed down. And for many, many years, since the 1960s actually, scientists have been telling us uh, whether that information came to the public or not, they've been warning us about global warming since the 1960s. So we clearly as a society had no plans to slow down. So I almost feel like nature imposed this slowdown on ourselves. And slowing down means something different to everybody. Like last Friday, I sat down to read a book and in, at first I felt so guilty because I'm usually like very productive uh, especially on Friday nights I feel like I gotta prepare my new video and I just sat down and read and at first like I said I felt so guilty but that's actually being productive I'm sitting down to read but to me I'm always running around between kickboxing work or doing my videos or making a painting or working on my marketing or like you know how to make something for instagram anything like trying to feed my cat <laughs> going to see my family actually hanging out with friends i'm running around between so many different things that for me sitting down to read a book almost feels unproductive and of course it's not unproductive so i guess what i'm trying to say is we all have a different definition of slowing down and it doesn't mean do nothing it just means do less i saw this really interesting video by shallon lester who makes like videos about like dating and celebrity psychology and stuff like that but anyway she was talking about how when you're in hibernation you don't stop growing and i just thought that was really interesting i don't know if i told you guys i've been at home since march 11th like that was literally the last day that i went to work because somebody possibly came into contact with somebody who possibly tested positive so we <laughs> so i stopped working um from the office and i stopped training as well so i remember the first two weeks i was so stressed out that i would finish my work at five o'clock from the computer and i literally did nothing and maybe some of you are still needing to do that but for somebody who so tries to be productive all the time and i'm a high achiever and i'm very demanding of myself to force myself to slow down and just experience my emotions let myself rest that's actually growth so just because I did nothing, 
it doesn't mean that me as a person that registers as nothing so i just want to make this quick point of just because you're slowing down you can still continue to grow as a person you can just sit with your emotions and experience them if that's something you don't allow yourself to do all the time you can bond with people around you take this opportunity to get to know even your animals and see how they behave when you're not around you can figure out which people activities emotions are essential to you and which ones you want to let go of in the long term there are so many ways that we can continue to grow as we slow down that from the outside may not look like we're growing or that we're being productive but of course if this is not true for you if you're a person that's never that productive you think you're lazy maybe this is the time to work on yourself and your productivity but from what i'm seeing in social media and what i feel about myself when i scroll through social media right now it's like people posting their workouts posting their like anxiety workshops or like their their work their their desires whatever it's so tiring just seeing people be so productive but then i'm like Oh my god how can they even be like focusing on their productivity right now? i cannot focus on my productivity right now and i'm just giving myself a time to be okay with that and you might say mainly you're making a video right now how is it that you're not working on your productivity like i said i'm always running around from one activity to another that me just making a video right now feels okay i haven't worked out <laughs> i worked out like three times in the past three weeks like for me that's very low activity i usually work out four to five days a week in between trying to do my youtube going to work full time and trying to take care of my cat seeing my family hanging out with friends so for me to just slow down and make one video a week is slowing down and as you may or may not have noticed i haven't been keeping up with my deadline i've been kind of uploading videos on random days just because i want to give myself the time to breathe right now and yeah that's all i wanted to share with you guys today if you're anything like me right now and you feel overwhelmed and like you just need to slow down just slow down maybe that's the way in which you need to grow right now and you know just don't let social media like kind of shame you into like focusing on your productivity that's not something you need and like I said, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching if you still are. Subscribe if you like to continue talking about world domination. And I hope that you're doing okay at home. I'm self-isolating and I'm just home with my cat. I'm literally covered in cat hair right now. <laughs> and like I said, just trying to take care of myself in very basic ways. And yeah, I hope that you guys are okay and that you stay healthy. I'll see you in the next one.